What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to another Football Manager video and today we're going to go on a voyage of exploration, a voyage of discovery. Yes, five pieces of Football Manager trivia you probably don't know about. Hopefully you learned something new over the course of this video. If you do and you do enjoy this content and want to see more stuff like this, do smash the like button. It gives me an idea that this is the kind of stuff that you would like to see. Additionally, if you're somehow stumbling on in here and this is the first piece of content you've seen with my face on it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We've got a load of content coming up to FM21's launch and you're going to want to see all of it as it comes in hot over the next few weeks. Anyway, hopefully you enjoy this. Let's get straight into it. Future Jack, take it away. So for the first piece of Football Manager trivia, we're going back and technically... It's not, it, it's Championship Manager, not Football Manager. Does that mean I have to change the title? But if you're like me, you've probably heard at some point in your life someone say, I wish Football Manager had commentary. I wish I could hear a commentator talk over the match. What if I told you that in 1995 for CM2, that there was that? Yeah, and Clive Tilsley did, did it. It was on CD-ROM. It was an additional add-on to the game. You could have audio commentary. Um, there were over four hours boasted on the CD of this commentary. The only issue was it was quite repetitive and you had to play on a slow match engine speed on what was already a text-based match engine in order to enjoy it. Yeah, so Football Manager had audio commentary once upon a time. I'll leave you now to enjoy a short sample of it. It's delightful, as you can hear here. But for as good as this is, it never made a return. A lot of people didn't use it because it took a long time to listen to. It was repetitive. It was boring. And there's probably a reason we've not seen it in the 15 years since. And uh, yeah, for all those people who have ever asked for it, I don't think we're going to get it anytime soon. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking your heart here. I'm sorry. So the second piece of Football Manager trivia we have is something that... It, it kind of made me gag in my mouth when I when I learned this was a thing. And technically, this isn't football manager trivia. This is worldwide soccer manager trivia. Yes, because if you didn't know, football manager in its earlier years, during its first few releases in North America, wasn't called football manager at all. In fact, until football manager 2010, it was known as worldwide soccer manager bit of a mouthful looks very weird on the box art looks like a parallel universe's version of the game but um yeah to anyone who's ever suggested the game should be called soccer manager to help with north american sales they they tried it and i i can only assume that it was just a bit annoying having multiple names and confusing people and i don't know about you i think football manager sounds just a little bit better what if i was to tell you there are teams that have existed in Football Manager that aren't real. You might call me a mad conspiracy theorist, but this is true. There are teams that have existed in Football Manager that aren't real. And it started back in 2005 with a team called the Badgers, which are made up of Soccer AM staff members. Soccer AM is a Saturday morning TV show in the UK that's been running for a number of decades now. Very, very popular back in its heyday. And in its heyday, they were in Football Manager 2005 under the name The Badgers. A year later, Football Manager then added Hartchester United in as a bit of an Easter egg team. Hartchester United are a fictional English team um, that were part of a TV series called Dream Team. And while not satisfied with these two Easter eggs, a number of years later, in 2012... Sports Interactive just decided to no longer hide it. And there was a team called Soccer AM in the database with face packs, with the actual TV presenters fully fleshed out in the game. You could sign them for your own teams. It was a little bit bizarre. And, uh, well, it was actually promptly removed in January because people were just signing the Soccer AM staff members to play for their team. But you can see some of them here. You've got the likes of Max Rushton, Tubes, Rocket, a number of other household names if you have ever watched the TV show. And frankly, it's just a little bit weird and a little bit bizarre that in a game that strives so much for realism, there was just a load of fake players that aren't real footballers in the game for a number of years. It's not happened in the eight years since. Will it ever return? Who knows? Probably not with Soccer AM, though, because it's not very good anymore, sadly. 
So the fourth piece of trivia is probably the one that's made you click on this video. The one in the thumbnail, football manager banned in China. It sounds like clickbait, but it's not. In December 2004, the Minister of Culture in China banned football manager from being distributed as it violated Chinese law. The minister was quoted as saying it posed harm to the country's sovereignty and territorial integrity. That's a sentence, isn't it? But yes, the reason for this being, you might think, what law could they have broken? Well, Taipei of Taiwan and Hong Kong were represented as individual countries in Football Manager. Markets, websites and internet cafes were investigated for allowing people to play the game and if found guilty, they could have their business licenses revoked. Now, since then, Football Manager has changed how these nations are listed in game. Um, they have like a little China in brackets next to the name, so they're no longer independent and China's happy about it. But yes, for a time over 2004 and 2005, Football, football Manager was just banned it. You couldn't play it. Banned in China. Not allowed to play. Illegal. Against the law. If they did that in England, I think there'd be riots. Bloody hell. Can you imagine? And the final piece of Football Manager trivia we have, and one that I have talked about here on the channel before, it's one of my favourites. There has been a female footballer in Football Manager. Yes, Laura Gillagy. Now, you might think, I've not heard of Laura Gillagy. Is she good? Well, she was a physio for East Sterling back in CM 2001. And uh, the reason she was in the database is an East Sterling fan, Scottish third division team at the time, was complaining to a sports interactive programmer about the fact his team was rubbish. And for a little bit of a joke, they decided to add in the female physio onto the team as one of the best players in the squad. So she existed there. You'd think that people might be able to see the funny side of this back in 2000, but East Sterling's board did not. They went to the national papers to complain about this disgrace. Championship manager making a mockery of our club by making our physio one of the best players. I'll let you decide what you make of that one. It's not happened since. Will we ever get women's football in the game? I would like to believe we will, but until that day comes, Laura will remain the only female footballer ever to appear in the championship and football manager series. And that is a wrap for today's video. I hope you learned something new, as I said at the top. If you've not already, do make sure to go down, leave a, leave a comment. If there's a piece of trivia that isn't in this list that should be in here, get, get it below, but inform me. Maybe I don't know about it, and I'm sure other people would love to know about it as well. As I said at the top as well, if you are somehow new around here, you've stumbled on in, you've got to the end of this, and you're sat thinking, this guy's face and voice are somewhat tolerable, do hit subscribe. It would be lovely to have you around on the regular as throughout the launch, and indeed the entire cycle of Football Manager, we do content like this on the regular. Anyway, folks, that is all from me today. I will catch you guys again on the next one. It is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.